Our next step is to hook up the culvert so that it can convey the water underneath this ridge. We'll go back and take a look at all of our windows. So we'll go to Window, Tile Vertical. And let's go take a little bit closer look at our culvert. On to the culvert section. We'll also go add on our two flow results grid where you can see where we have the water coming down. And if we zoom out just a little bit, and we also go and add on our TF Z-Line Ridge, you can see that the level that it's going to back the water up to force it through the culvert. Now in order to get the water to flow through that culvert, we're going to do the 12D Drainage Network Editor. The 12D Drainage Network Editor allows the user to change all the different physical properties of your drainage network and to enter the hydrology and the hydraulics. To begin with, you'll notice that I have selected the upstream end of the culvert to start. And I'm going to go across to the pit tab. And you'll notice that it is set to a head wall inlet and that the KU method is set to a culvert. This instructs 12D to do both backwater calculations inside the culvert and to look at inlet controls. Now to hook it up to the two flow model, we'll move up to the 2D connection and we'll select sump. This means that the sump of the head wall is connected to the 2D grid. When you have stormwater pits where the water comes in through the top, you would, the grate is generally at the top and those ones you would change to grate. Having the tick box under, on 2D gra analysis graph, during the two flow run, we will see the water levels at this head wall. Now we're going to move to the global tab. In order to do the hydrology and hydraulics inside the 1D network, you have to have the runoff method set to either ILSACs or the New Zealand SCS curves. You cannot use the rational method together with two flow. When we ran road flow, road flow created a file called road2flow.tcf. This is a two flow control file and contains all the instructions to run two flow. The drainage network editor needs to know about this file so it knows the commands to execute. The final step is to enable two flow. We'll now move down to our outlet so we can go back to the pit tab, move to the right, and this takes us to the outlet. If we did not connect the outlet back into the two flow model, the water would just dis out discharge, but we would never see it inside two flow. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to the tick box and we're going to connect the sump of the head wall up to the ground level. So we're now ready to run that. We can go to our storm analysis. You'll notice that we're not using any other bypass flows at the moment, and we can come down here and select Run. Once again, the two flow panel comes up. Only this time you'll notice that that extra graph at the bottom is showing us the water levels at the upstream pit. Now, currently we can only see one uh, head wall or one pit elevation at a time. In future releases it is planned to look at more than one. So we will stop two flow for a moment while this runs and then we'll come back, sorry, we'll stop the uh, recording and then we'll look at the results once it's finished.